now in this particular video we are going to learn about uh, one of the most important command that is a mtr command okay so basically uh, mtr command is nothing but uh, like combination of the two commands which we have learned in our previous videos that is the ping and the trace root command so now to, uh, in this video we are going to learn about uh, this and we will use like see the both the features of the ping command and the trace root command in this particular single command okay so let's start with the basic like uh, what we have to uh, write that is mtr and enter the then host name i will just go with uh, google.com and hit enter okay so here we you can see like uh, this is refreshing again and again and again okay so basically what's happening here you can see the <coughs> you will get the percentage loss and all the what are the number of packets sent what are the last received average based and all these things okay so basically what's happening here you here you can see the number of hops like uh, from our uh, what you can say from our source to the destination okay so there are approx 10 hops here in this case so uh, like basically with this command you are getting the overall uh, what you can say overall statistics and what happens in this particular command as you can see this page is refreshing again and again and again so we started from zero and now we are still at here you can see we are at uh, 48 again 49 50 so what is this happening this is basically nothing but uh, the ping request okay so here uh, this command like what uh, it does it sends ping request again and again and again so uh, with ping request what we send we send the which protocol we use icmp like internet control message protocol we use okay so uh, here you can see that uh, again i will like uh, run this command to stop this we have to just hit q and it will stop okay again let me check with the for another domain uh, let's try for uh, gmail.com no not gmail uh, let's try for facebook.com so here you can see uh, here also we are getting our uh, 10 hops so there is no any packet loss here in this case okay so this is the again at 11 times that is 13 14 15 16 all these things you can see so to control the your what you can say ping request time like suppose you want to ping again after uh, some some after some seconds like suppose you want to ping after two seconds so how you can do it so for this we use a special function not function we will say just it is a just an option that is a hyphen i option okay so let's uh, use that mtr hyphen i and we will specify the time for two seconds and uh, for domain name let's uh, go with the youtube okay so here you can see now it's not like earlier like it's sending the ping request after two seconds so you can see the like uh, change in the frequency of sending packets okay so here you can see f4 now seven now eight so it's slow slower than earlier okay so in this way you can control the ping request and here you can see the ip addresses of all the hopes which are uh, which lies between our from the source and destination okay so uh, now moving forward uh, suppose if you want to uh, display only the what you can say only ip address not host names like uh, actually we are getting here uh, ip address but still there is an option of hyphen n so we will use it let me clear the screen mtr hyphen n and uh, let's take uh, some basic one uh, our indian website uh, let me search not brave let me open chrome okay i will just search for let's search for blockchain so here okay here is the one website investopedia okay or here is also blockchain.com is also one kind of website let's uh, let me check it is live yeah it's live okay we can find the ip and all the what are the hops present between this so let me go like this first blockchain.com okay accessible 104 okay okay 
now what I will do I will use the hyphen n option blockchain.com so here you can see only IP address as uh, earlier also we were getting only IP address but uh, so what happens in some cases we get the host names okay we get the host names in place of these IP addresses okay so these are basically your IPv4 address that is uh, your 32 bit addresses okay uh, we will learn about uh, more about in networking part uh, okay about uh, IPv4 address and IPv6 address okay so moving forward in this uh, uh, video so we will go with uh, uh, one of the like uh, option with in which we store the output in different different files like the different formats you can say like we can store in XML we can store in JSON and also we can store in uh, like other uh, file format we can say uh, I'm not getting what are the file formats let me check with uh, okay so now here we will see uh, what are the file formats uh, mm, hyphen b not this one local environment packet okay csv is also there okay here we can see if uh, yeah here you can see hyphen hyphen xml is there we can use hyphen hyphen xml for storing the output in uh, like this okay so let me try with this hyphen hyphen xml google.com whether i will need to provide path or not i don't know okay Control C to stop. Take one minute. I will create one directory. Uh, blockchain and ntr iphone iphone xml google.com. And now it will be sending like it's not displaying us here. I will just hit Control C ls. Okay, no files has been created. Uh, iphone o c.xml whether it's work or not okay it's not working uh, let me check okay uh, let's try with csv okay it's not printing anything uh, i don't know why, what's the problem here uh, Basically, what happens it we it displays the output in that particular format. Like if a head is CSV, then comma separated values. Okay, yeah. Okay, we got it now. So here you can see, uh, like this is the comma separated output in this case. And if I will try with the XML, uh, actually, a uh, file is not created. The output is uh, displayed in that particular format. Okay, let's wait for uh, two to three seconds. Uh, I hope it will work. Mm, let's wait okay so where you can see uh, the output in the XML format nice okay so moving forward uh, what I will do uh, I will use some other function uh, not function I will use some other uh, options in which we can like uh, create a one file in which we will add some domain names and then we will call that file and use this particular command what I'm just trying to say you uh, let me create one file so just remember how you can create file in Linux we will just use touch command okay I will enter domain .txt and I will write first google.com facebook.com instagram.com okay that's enough control d to save okay let me check the content of this file not files.txt what was the name domain yeah okay here is the domain uh, now i will use mtr i will use hyphen f capital f option and provide the uh, domain.txt and then the 
just it, I think. That's it. Okay. So here you can see we are getting result for google.com. Okay. So here you can see the ping request, everything we can see here. All the statistics. Okay, now further we will see how we can set the ping okay so like uh, normally what happens it sends approx 10 pings request okay like 1 to 10 okay if we want for only 5 how we can do mtr hyphen c5 google.com this is third fourth and the last one is fifth that's it so only five packets has been sent. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. Again. So here you can see this is a percentage loss. Here we can see the maximum percentage loss. We don't know why. And the sent. Okay. Wait a minute. I have to just to explain some things. That's why. So this is the last. The average time. This is the best time. The what? What time? I am trying to tell you. Like this is the round trip time. Like. Uh, when the packet goes from the source to destination and then the packet uh, like uh, the receive, sender receives the response from the receiver like that time that is a round trip time okay so this is the average best worst and this is the standard deviation okay latency is something uh, this is the last one so guys that's all for this video and uh, i hope you liked it and if you have any query then please ask us in the comment section so thank you thank you for watching and we'll meet in the next video